Ariel Hawani in Brooklyn for UFC 223 alongside Ray Borg, who meets Brandon Moreno this Saturday right here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Good to see you again, Ray. And by the way, Mazel Tov. Oh, thank you. Proud new father. What's yeah. it like? Crazy. Craziest shit I've ever been through my entire <laughs> life, man. I'll tell you that. I was in that delivery room and I was like telling him, I was like, man, fighting is way easier than this, man. And so, but it was, it's great, man. It's, it's a cool experience to be a part of. First one, right? Yeah, first one. Boy or girl? Boy. Everything's good? Yeah, he's Everyone's good. Everyone's healthy? Everyone's healthy, you know. Uh, the wife's back home with them, taking right. care of them, so everything's great. And from what I understand, this just happened a couple of weeks ago. What is it like to no, go? Yeah. Last no? week. Last week. Okay, even less. So you, you become a dad, uh -huh. you witness that. And you're getting ready for this very important fight coming off what happened in October. What is going on in your mind right now? Not a whole, you know, not as much as what people would expect. You know, I mean, I'm not freaking out. I'm not like homesick or anything like that. If anything, it was more motivation for me. Yeah. You know, it was like my child was born. It's like, holy shit, I'm a father to a person now. This is my person. You know, I don't have to give him back at any point. He's my person. I need to go fucking whoop this dude's ass so I can make some money for my boy. You know. So you feel like a different person? I feel like a different person, way different person. More motivation? Way more motivation. More than what I thought, really. I wow. didn't know what to expect, but, you know, it, it changed me. And, of course, uh, I, I'm sure you're not short on motivation. You want to get back. I, I've seen on social media you're saying this is the climb back to the top. What, if anything, what kind of lessons did you learn from the experience of fighting Demetrius Johnson back in October? You know, I learned both, you know, technical and psychological. I, I, I know that, you know. Although at that time I would have loved to just been at the same level as DJ, beat him up, you know, shock the world, gone home. That would have been a perfect storybook ending. But realistically, you know, me being so young in this game and DJ, you know, being the guy that he is, I wasn't quite at that level. I'm close, but wasn't quite at DJ's level that night. So, you know, what I did is it, it helped. It, I took it home with me. You know, worked on all the stuff that I know that I need to improve to be at that level. And you know, it's it's going to show in, you know, fights to come. Have you been able to watch the finish? Yeah, yeah. What is that like for you? I don't know. I see it all the time. I get tagged in it all the damn time. People tell me, oh, raising the commercial for the new video game, and I see it again. So it don't matter to me. I mean, Does it I drive you nuts? Like, is, is it just like, you know, an extra kick in the gut? No, not really. I mean, I don't focus on it. If I'm going to sit and dwell on the, what happened in the past, I'm not going to be able to move forward in my career. So it happened. It was, it was cool. I mean, hell, if I'm going to, like, be a fan about it, I'll be like, okay, that was pretty dope, you know. It wasn't, like, you know, something I wanted to be a part of, but it is what it is. You ever try to pull it off in, in the gym afterwards? No. No. You want nothing to do with that? Yeah, I want nothing to do with any of that. If anything, if I'm going to pull it off on anybody, it'd be funny as shit if I pull it off on DJ the yes. second time. Is that the dream? Maybe, or just knock him out, you know. He's, right. I, I don't know how I feel about DJ anymore, you know. I, I looked up to him, like, when I was a kid. Yeah. So fighting him, it was like, oh, my God, you know. And, you know, usually it would have been like, you know what, it was an honor to lose to you. But after I met him and, you know, I, I talked to him, I'm not a fan of him. Why? What happened? He's just, I don't know. I don't know if he's trying too hard to be more marketable, but he's just a little bit more arrogant than what I thought. You know, I was actually excited to fight him, excited to meet him. But, you know, he just kind of... It's kind of a douche. Hmm. Rubbed you the wrong way. Yeah, it rubbed me super the wrong way. You know, I was expecting a little bit more, you know, but it is what it is. It's fighting. Okay. Uh, your opponent, Brandon Moreno, is coming off a bit of controversy himself. You know, he had his issue with USADA, but then they cleared him because they said there were traces of clenbuterol, which is, you know, commonly found in contaminated meat in Mexico. Do you have any concerns about whether or not he's, you know, playing, playing with all the, you know, kosher yeah. rule set i don't know i mean to be honest by the look of his you know his his body frame he doesn't look like he took a steroid in his entire life so you know it, it is what it is i you know i've heard a lot about the you know in mexico be careful with the meat because that's steroids and i don't but it don't bother me at all i mean if he is if he is on steroids it's gonna if like if he's trying to manipulate and play with it, it's gonna take a whole lot more than that you know to beat me on saturday night so yeah, it is what it is i just stay in my own lane Fair to say, on top of all the motivation, you have a bit of a chip on your shoulder. You have a point to prove that you're not that guy that fought DJ back in October, that you're much better than that? Absolutely. You know, uh, the most important thing to me from here on now is not just winning these fights, but winning these fights in such dominant fashion that it shows people, okay, you know what? This kid is the kid that can beat DJ. This kid is the future of the division. So that's my goal, is not just to win these next few fights, including Moreno, but it's to win them in impressive fashion. How's the weight? 
it's fantastic. Couldn't be better. No problems? No problem. Not expecting any drama tomorrow? No drama. No baby mama drama. Could I ask you how much you weigh? Um, sure. How much do you weigh? I don't know. Okay. All right. You asked. I know. Well, I answered. Fair enough. I wish you the best. Good to see you back. And again, congratulations on the birth of your first son. Cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.